Hello and welcome to the Mariners Massive. It's another edition here on YouTube. I'm Charlie, this is Football Manager 21, and today's fixture picks the Central Coast Mariners against Grant Brebner's Melbourne victory. We're away at Amy Park, and it does seem that Melbourne victory have a little bit of an injury crisis. If you've been watching uh, the A-League rundown on a Sunday, and you really should do, you'll know that Callum McManaman is injured. Robbie Cruz is injured. They're starting with Rudy Justed on the left wing and Elvis Kamsova on the right. Interesting take there. You'll see this in the formations. So they've got Ben Falami, the on-loan Ipswich striker. Nick Ansel is the captain in the centre of defence, uh, with Lee Broxham on the bench. In terms of ourselves, we've made three changes. Jankovic, Stensness and Clisby all stepping out. In comes Urena, Bowman and young Matthew Hatch. You've just seen the league table there. We have dropped down to second thanks to the performances of Wellington Phoenix. Uh, they have taken over at the very top of the ladder. Uh, good on them. A uh, bit of a strange one here at Amy Park because, as you'll notice, both teams played in their away kits. I don't think you see that a lot in professional football. There's no need for it, really, considering that Melbourne Victory play in a navy blue and the Mariners shirt is predominantly yellow. I don't really see the point of that, but this is one of those little instances you have in Football Manager that isn't really replicated uh, in real life. We have made a couple of small tactical tweaks uh, for this one. We're not passing into space, for example. I want things to feet, uh, if possible, uh, and a bit more direct. Uh, Matthew Hatch has come in because basically Clisby has not been brilliant this season. Uh, in fact, he's not been that brilliant in real life, it has to be said. Uh, with the mistake, I think, for uh, Western Sydney Wanderers' goal uh, this midweek. Uh, I think his poor clearance, it was uh, a header that didn't quite go to plan, uh, gave Nikolai Muller the chance uh, to fire the visitors ahead in Gosford. So uh, it sort of bled into the game as well. He, he's not brilliant. He's a workable A-League fullback. Uh, should have a pretty good delivery on him. Uh, but just so far... Not quite doing it. Nor is Kai Rolls. Uh, and what's more, the board have started to pick up on that. Uh, as Rolls himself has a shot. Uh, header from the corner. And it just goes over the bar. Six shots on goal already for ourselves. The board are not very happy with Kai Rolls' performances as of late. Uh, he is due to be replaced. We are in the market for a new centre-half. Seems to be said that every week, actually, since the start of the season. Uh, we took a load of players on trials uh, to have a look at them, and we continue to do that. So we've got another week to find out whether we can sign uh, George Niedermeyer, who is probably our preferred option, as the young man, Ben Falami, gets in there. Kurdar with the ball, and Falami with the finish. Bazanic losing out to Butterfield in midfield. But look at that. That's awful defending. Just running away from the ball. It's Kai Rolls again. I don't know what's wrong with that lad. Somebody needs to have a serious word with him. And believe it, believe you me, it will be me when he's dropped. He will know exactly why, as Justed is in behind here. Good tackle by Ruan Tongic. It's a clearance upfield. Ryan Shotton uh, will pick the ball up. Again, victory just coming on strong now. Shotton getting forward there. He is their centre-half as Mark Birigitti makes a good save. Uh, they want Kurdar marked by Oli Bazanic. Not against that at the minute. Uh, but here's Urena on the ball. He's coming to the team this game. Bit, he should have a bit of quality about him as Negro goes in. And it's a good save by Matt Acton getting down low there to the attempted strike. So we're 1-0 behind. Uh, we were, of course, uh, on the receipt of a loss to Victory's Melbourne rivals, uh, Melbourne City, in our last game. Uh, we played uh, a 4-2 loss out. Um, 
which was disappointing. Our first loss of the season. And it looks like, I mean, this could be the second if this uh, continues, really. But Janota uh, putting the cat amongst the pigeons there. And it's De Silva with the strike. But just took it on, didn't he? He should be taking that down at his feet and then running at the defence. We've now got shot at again. Everything seems to go through him down here, doesn't it? As you Urena on the counter now. Here we go. All the way through. And it's a goal. You expected him to play in Matt Simon. Didn't because Matty Simon went uh, a little bit uh, offside. But Urena kept hold of the ball. Just kept on going. Look at that. All the way through. Poor from Acton, really. Uh, basically stood there while uh, the ball whistled past him. But we are back level. It is 1-1 here at Amy Park. Uh, and Melbourne Victory do not look happy about that. So now might be the time to see if we can press the advantage. But that's a good ball out to Adama Traore. He's done well for them this season. And it's into Elvis Cam Sober. So often you'd see in real life. Screws his shot well wide. Uh, more in the direction of the corner flag than the goal. Uh, unfortunate because he's one of our favourite players at A-League FC. Uh, we love uh, a bit of Elvis. Uh, unfortunately though, uh, some of his performances uh, not uh, too hot. As Oli Bazanic, his shot wasn't brilliant either. Uh, just the wrong side of the post. And gave Matt Acton something to think about. 40 minutes played, so just 5 to go. Uh, including, of course, uh, extra time coming up at the end of the first half. And it looks like victory uh, are going to have a strong end to the game. Here's De Silva, though. Oh, that's a bit of a, a wasted free kick. I mean, at least get it on target, man. Half time here. And again, the uh, my assistant... Big Don Aloisi uh, talking to me about Kadar. I already know about him. You've told me. Uh, let's fire up the boys. There we go. They're inspired and motivated. Inspired. Uh, still surprised to see no Lee Broxham playing. Is Nick Ansel a better player than Lee Broxham? Not certain. Uh, expect to see uh, DJ Brox come on uh, later on. Looks like the two in the centre there, Kerdar and Falami, both having good games. They were involved in the goal, of course, uh, which does boost your stats up. Uh, you'll notice that for ourselves, uh, only Urena is uh, within the green uh, for rating, which sort of puts him into, I think it's uh, above a seven. Everybody else, pretty average so far. But that's uh, a good sign for me, uh, because that means that there's opportunities here. Uh, as De Silva on the ball. Cleared up field. It's going to come back though from Kai Rolls. And Urena with the strike. Acton with two good hands on the ball. That's what you want from your goalkeeper. Good positioning. And uh, he was there to make the save. As Ansel has a shot off target. Uh, plenty of strikes. I mean 20 in total so far. In the 54, 55 minutes played. Kadar getting free in the area. But offside. Unfortunate there for him. As we make it to the hour, got to consider changes. Uh, I don't think there's that many that I'd want to make. Uh, I mean, really, Yanota has been a bit disappointing. Uh, I certainly wouldn't want to make any in defence right now. Especially not with uh, the youngster Hatch having come into the team. Let's see if we've got an alternative player for him. Uh, we could bring on Jankovic. Let's do that. So he was one of the players that were dropped uh, for this fixture. But he is back into the team now. I think we'll just encourage the lads. Just remind him that we're still on the touchline, expecting good things from them. Uh, Shotten on a booking though. That's got to be worrying for Grant Brebner. Uh, when you've got a central defender... Uh, who's picked up a yellow ticket uh, quite early in the match, it has to be said. That's a good cutout by Hatch there. And the ball over the top to Matt Simon. He'll keep hold of it really well. Urena now at the byline. What can he do? Oh, it's Jankovic that should have scored. Turned behind. Bazanic with the delivery now. It's going to go back out to him. 
into Bowman. He's been pretty anonymous as well. It has to be said. Stefan Negro in field. It's another block by Ansel. And now, Rudy Justed has been taken off. That's interesting. This young man, Triple L, Louis uh, Latanzio, I think his name is. Um, Laurie Latanzio, of course. Uh, out on the left there, as Shotton moves out to the right, on comes Aaron Anderson. Hmm. Not Lee Broxham. Uh, Bowman, I think, has been fairly ineffective, uh, but it's Bazanic that's suffering in terms of his condition. So we're going to bring on Gianni Stensness to take his place. And hopefully that could give us some fresh legs. Um, oh, can I rolls? I'm so tempted to take him off, to be honest. Go on then. Let's bring it off. Let's bring on the young man, Lewis Miller. Let's see if that can make a difference as we enter the final five minutes of play here. It's absolutely flown by. I've got a 1-1 one, one scoreline. We do have a throw in there. Here's Jankovic. Let's see what he can do now. Oh, it's cleared up field, isn't it? Matt Simon brings it down. He's going to bring Negro into play. Can we get a ball in? It's a penalty. Is that a penalty? We're waiting for VAR. It's a penalty. Let's go. Matt Simon steps up. Go on, Matty. Go on, Matthew Simon. What a finish. A 2-1 lead into the final minutes. Now, as you will imagine, uh, I'm just going to break away from tradition to uh, make sure that we are all singing from the same hymn sheet. We're going to go defensive and we are going to bring our boys back. Come home, lads. Uh, in fact, I'm going to move these boys into a defensive midfield position and our attacking central midfielder. He's back in the centre. Right. From now on, we are. Tempo is low. Much lower? There we go. Time wasting. Wherever possible. We are not playing for set pieces. Uh, yes, we are actually. Set pieces. Lovely. Not going to out playing out defence. Attacking width is going to be narrow. I expect them to be more disciplined in transition. Counter press is fine. Hold shape when possession has been won. Slow the pace down. We are going to roll out the ball to full backs. And then out of possession. This is what you do at the end of the game. Uh, we're going to have a much lower line of engagement and it's going to drop the defensive line back a little bit. Uh, do we get stuck in or stay on feet? Stay on feet. Uh, defensive width, fourth opposition outside, that's fine. Right, so we've got the final two minutes of plus injury time to negotiate. Having now got a lead for the first time in the game considering they went behind on 20 minutes to Ben Falami's opening goal. We're now entering, that's it, 90 minutes on the clock, but there's five to play. Here's Laurie Latanzio, triple L on the ball. Now it's Elvis. Oh, this is bad. Shot and forward. Oh, it's going to be a corner to Melbourne victory. Right, so let's see if we can eat up some seconds here. Yeah, that's it. Mark Birigitti, you take your time, son. 93rd minute now. Oh, the clock's still ticking. As here comes Shotton. Now at right back. I think he's been playing there throughout the game, to be honest. Oh, there's less than a minute to play as they take this corner. Oh, and it's cleared up to Barnett. Anderson now. Shotton wide right. And it's back in field, but it's cleared to Traore. Can the Mariners hold on? Oh, Matty Simon up there winning the header. Less than 20 seconds ago, less than 15. 3, 2, 1, ref, blow your whistle, ref, blow your whistle. That's it, Matty, you hold it, son. Final whistle goes, and the Central Coast Mariners are back in winner's circle. Thank you very much. That was a fantastic performance. 
Well done, lads. Here you go. Big win for the Central Coast. And Joe Cooper from the Gosford Football Paper wants to have a chat. Just goes to show the level of spirit in our dressing room. A dramatic late goal from Matty Simon. Absolutely key, obviously, in the real life world uh, with his performance against Western Sydney Wanderers. Uh, got away with a couple of crunching late textbook Matty Simon tackles and uh, maybe an, an elbow in the face. I thought it was more of a forearm personally, but you know, I've been wrong about these things before. I did love, however, we all did. Alan Stadgett's comment that he thought the yellow card was a bit soft, uh, speaking at half time. It's interesting actually that um, I see a lot of people uh, on social media saying that we shouldn't have the half time interviews and things like that with Fox Sports. Um, here at A League FC, we love them. You know, with more power to them. When you get to speak to somebody like a Mark Rudan or an Alan Stadgett, you know that they're going to say something uh, a little bit entertaining. Always for us have those interviews uh, especially because as an international viewer we don't always see you know, the end of the game uh, the interviews afterwards uh, it sort of cuts off often after the final whistle you get a very quick wrap up uh, from the commentators and then that's it uh, it sort of moves on to uh, another program so it's always good for us to see uh, those uh, personalities on show and that's what drew us into the a-league to begin with is the personalities involved um, they're all sort of people who you want to see more of and you want to find out more. You know, look at the Central Coast Mariners, Alu Kual, uh, his interview last season that went viral. Uh, you know, a little bit of controversy in, in his interview, but it came from a good heart and a good, good, good place. So uh, not a problem for us. And when you're watching somebody like Matty Simon just going around, giving him a bit of spray, as they say in Australia, to Ziggy Gordon. I mean, come on, that's just what football's all about. And perhaps it's because we're more used to a, a non-league uh, setup here. So uh, the majority of us here at A-League FC are non-league fans. We're just not as soft to it. You know, we want to see more of that blood, thunder, guts, you know, fans on top of the game. Yeah, we love all that. So tune in on Sunday for the A-League Rundown when we'll go through all the results uh, of the games in the recent few days. Our next match here is against Newcastle Jets. Um, however, as you can see, Mariners are back at the top of the league. And that is how it's done. I'll see you on Sunday. <laughs>